Hey Ben, that's an impressive looking EXO. How long did it take you? Uh, it took about 10 minutes. What? No way. There, there's no way that could have only taken 10 minutes. Oh, it did. Let me show you how. Okay, so here is what we're going to be creating today. Now, this is a very complex and busy looking urban street. And would you believe me if this took only 10 minutes? Now, this is possible because we're leveraging a bunch of tricks and resources that are available online. Now, we'll take you step by step. So by the end of this video, you will be able to create something like this in 10 minutes as well. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so here we are in Rhino. We have a very simple scene in the file. We have a couple of buildings in the middle and a few blocks around it. Now, this is a very simple scene, but the whole trick with this tutorial is all about simplicity and speed. So we will show you how you can create that busy urban scene without actually having to model any buildings or vehicles or people. And we're going to do that by leveraging the power of Illustrator packs. So first, let's make the drawing exportable and compatible with Illustrator. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and change our perspective to Axonometric View. So we'll go to Set View, Isometric, and choose Southwest. You can choose a perspective that works the best for you. So now this is roughly the look that we want, so this is good. I'm going to select everything and type in Make 2D. And now from here, I'm going to choose um, the options that you see right now and say OK. And that generates a line work that represents the view that we were just looking at. So there we go. Looks good. Um, before we export this into Illustrator, I want to do one more thing, and which is to create outlines around our buildings. So I'm going to go ahead and select all our buildings and type in the command called curve boolean. Now once you do that, you can click outside anywhere of all these outlines and you can see the shaded area that's being outlined. So once you do that, it creates the outline on the default layer. I'm just drawing a couple more lines to indicate that these buildings are separated and we're already good to go. I'm going to go ahead and select all the line works and export this as an illustrator format. So I'll type in export, say OK. And this is all we have to do in Rhino. Let's head over to Illustrator and spice things up a little bit. OK, so here's how the file looks when you first open it up. I'm going to select everything and scale them up. Now, I kind of want the illustration to be like really full and like look zoom into the middle of the scene. So I'm going to make sure everything overflows and scale down the artboard into a square format. OK, so. I want to make this black and white for the time being. So I'll double click here and choose black. And then for all the building lines in this layer, I'm going to make the line weights 0.25. And I'm going to go ahead and import in some packages. So the pack I want to start with is flat vector buildings. Now you can download this from a website called Archive. There's a bunch of other assets out there, but we're going to be using this particular one in this tutorial. Now this pack, as you can see, comes with two versions. One is a colored one and the other one is a just a line work version. So I'm going to go ahead and select the line work and copy them over to our scene. Now I'm going to go ahead and lock our project layers so that we don't um, mess anything up and make sure the scale is somewhat correct. Okay. So we have done so, we're ready to scatter this around our scene. So I'm going to put this on the side start bringing in some buildings. And as you can see, these packs have crazy amount of details inside. So, and you can leverage these amazing packs just by simply dragging and dropping them into your files like this. So this is almost like a superpower in my opinion. Um, you suddenly are able to do like hours worth of work in just a split second. If you're short on time, I strongly recommend looking into a method like this. That looks good. And as long as like you mix up these ad sets enough, it wouldn't appear like you're repeating some of them. This, maybe that. Okay, so now we have some buildings in our scene and what we're missing is people and vehicles in the streets. Now for that, I'm gonna use Landspace Architecture's Urban Street Pack. Now this pack is pretty versatile. It comes with a bunch of different assets. So I'm going to go ahead and select a bunch of cars that are in an exonometric perspective and copy them over to our scene. I'm going to close or lock our buildings layers 
and I'll scale things down a little bit here as well. So what I like to do when I'm organizing a pack like this is that I want to put them in a correct lane like this, facing this correct direction, so that we can easily scatter them around down the road. Okay, there we go. Now this is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start scattering this, these uh, cars. Now these vehicles are kind of like appearing on top of the buildings right now. So I'm gonna move our layer below our building layer so that there's a correct layering going on. Then I'll do the same thing up here. Okay, so once we have a set going on like this, what we can do is we can simply copy them all over to the top area. So let's do that. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of these vehicles and head bring them over to somewhere visible. And that's all we have to do to populate our street. Now, I kind of want these cars to also have a thick line weight. So I'm gonna select all the cars, Control A, and then Control C and Control F to place them into the same spot. And now I'm gonna go ahead and open up Pathfinder. If you don't see this window on the top right corner, you can go to Window and choose Pathfinder. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Unite feature to bring them into a single um, shape like this. And from here, I can take away the fill color and adjust the stroke width to simulate a thickness of line. Okay, cool. And now there's one last missing piece and that is people. So I'm gonna go ahead over to Landspace Architectures Pack again and copy over a small section of them. Now, what's kind of convenient about this pack in particular is that people are already somewhat scattered, so you don't really have to do a lot of scattering, scattering work. All you really have to do is make sure that they're not overlapping with the buildings. And I'm gonna start removing building or people that are overlapping with the building. Feel free to populate your scene as you want and make sure things are looking nice and lively. There we go! Isn't it surprising how quickly you can create a complex and busy looking street with so little amount of time and effort? Hope you guys found this tutorial useful and hope you guys found some new potentials for your future illustrations. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, make sure to leave it in the comments so that we can make it next time. Alright, thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you guys next time.